So the area that I'm riding now is called the zone of silence and the reason for that is that radio signals don't work here. And apparently also compasses spin out of control when you put them on the ground near rocks. Good morning internet, it is exactly 7 o'clock in the morning and a welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in Mapimi, Mapima, Mapimi. Here in Mexico and well I'm almost ready to go. You wouldn't think it if you see this. And today I'm going to ride about 240 kilometers through the desert. So, and I'm already kind of in a desert environment. I would say it is now 7 in the morning and it's hot. Like this, this is, I'm not cold, I'm not cold. So that's why today I'm leaving early and to try and make most of the rides still in the morning when it's relatively cool. But this time I am not leaving without a breakfast. I came prepared. So yesterday I went to the shop. They have a fridge outside here, which is quite helpful. Anyway, I went to the shop yesterday. I got myself some sandwiches. So I'm going to have that now as a breakfast and then quickly hit the road. Bit dry. But it's okay, it's okay. I've made another friend. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. All right, let me open the gate. It should be open. You stay here, right? Hi buddy. Come. Inside you go. Inside. Come. Come. Come on. You can't come with me, buddy. No. <laughs> no. Come. 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 <laughs> it's okay. Come. Come, sweetie. Okay, you stay inside. No, no, no. <laughs> stay, stay inside. You can't come with me. You can't come with me, buddy. Sorry. Okay, bye. Oh. oh, so that's how you do it. <laughs> okay, I guess he does that all the time. Oh yeah, my pimi, my pimi. So, today I am riding to a place which is called the Zone of Silence. And it is one of the most mysterious places in Mexico. Maybe even in the world. Very fascinating place. So, that's why I'm going to investigate it. And that means that today I'll be riding a little bit uh, of tarmac. But the majority is going to be on the dirt through the desert, so that's gonna be good. Oh, there's quite a thick uh, fog, morning fog, but I think that will clear up very quickly. Look at that sunrise, wow! All right, there we go. Here begins the dirt. I just filled up on fuel, so I will not have any fuel anxiety. It's 
still early. Yeah. It's a bit of an unpredictable track. Very smooth sometimes, and then you get uh, very deep ruts. There are about a thousand tracks running everywhere. Of course. Uh, and it's very hard to uh, follow kind of the right one. I guess they're all kind of going in the same direction. But in any case, I, I'm not gonna make any new tracks. So I'll try to uh, stick to the main one. And all these uh, kind of silt pits, they create huge dust clouds. This is definitely uh, the type of stuff you don't want to ride with somebody in front of you. That's just terrible. This side is a bit better. <laughs> oh, it's so fine, eh? Unbelievable. <laughs> Look at this madness. I didn't see any cattle or animals, but I'm guessing this is for them. Oh, Alaska, you're getting a silt shower. Oh, I don't think you're gonna like this very much. Nor does my air filter. It's my last air filter. I have a uh, no more spares. Okay, where do I go? Straight. 
I guess. Hey, there's a horse. Oh, another horse. Hi, guys. Oh, and a little fall. Oh, there's a whole group of them. Sorry I scared you guys. Okay, so it's horses that run around here. The track is more to the left, but not sure. Suddenly it's all green here, just on the other side. There's grass here, wow! Oh, that came unexpected. Look at all these plants, they're weird, right? I mean, look at this. What is that? Anyway, what I don't understand is somewhere here there should be a research station. Did I already pause it? I didn't see anything. Ah, no. I'm not there yet. A little bit further. Temperatures are rising quite rapidly now. It's already uh, hotter than uh, I was hoping for. Look at this. Vegetation is just amazing here, right? It's the number of different plants that manage to live in such a hostile environment. There, in the distance, I can already see the research station. I think it's called Laboratory of the Desert. Anybody home? Laboratory of the Desert. Ecological Institute. Pretty close, actually. Now you may wonder why there is a research station here in the desert. Um, oh. And uh, well, I'll tell you in a minute. But I just noticed that my that this mount is uh, broken. See? So that's a pity. I have to hold this. <laughs> it's not gonna work. <gasps> yeah, there it went. Now it's completely broke. I didn't think that would happen immediately. But it did. Poor camera. Oh, that was that. For my mount. I think I have a spare somewhere in my bags, but for now, just do it out. I was actually hoping to find <laughs> A tree with some shade to uh, tell you a little bit about this place. But a tree with shade might be wishful thinking. Okay, I see a little bit of shade. It's not much. 
but it's some. Okay, I put another uh, mount so I can use that uh, camera again. I'm just gonna sit here in this little bit of shade. And um, I brought a full camel bag of water, which is uh, two and a half liters, 2.75 or something. Plus an extra bottle of one liter. But that extra bottle I had just like kind of put in between my bags, but I was a little bit worried that it might fly off at some point. So I'm just going to pour that in my camel bag. I think I already drank one liter. So the area that I'm riding now is called the zone of silence. And the reason for that is that radio signals don't work here and also cell phone reception. But it is because of the radio signals that don't work here that it's called the zone of silence. And apparently also compasses spin out of control when you put them on the ground near rocks. Let me see. I don't even know if my compass works. <laughs> Let me see. And the reason for compasses going crazy and radios not working is that the electromagnetic field here is as strong as on the North Pole. And that's why it also attracts a lot of meteorites and space debris, apparently, that kind of falls down here for some reason. And on top of that, there are some unusual plant and animal mutations. Maybe that's why the researchers are studying that. Um, that remain unexplained and well apparently there's also UFO sightings and all sorts of extraterrestrial activity in this area. Now the question is why is the electromagnetic field so incredibly strong here? Now one theory and it's already an old theory is that at some point in time a long time ago a massive meteor slammed into this area and that meteor would be very rich in iron and that would create these electromagnetic properties but then the question is where is the impact crater because you would expect a huge impact crater and that's nowhere to be found it's completely flat but then there's some fossil evidence that at some point in time this was actually part of a sea in the Cretaceous times so if this would be a shallow sea and a meteor would strike then it would be possible that over time sediments have kind of buried that meteor again, creating a flat surface like we find today. Now another theory is that somebody placed a meteor here to facilitate space travel from another planet. So that's, that's another theory. But whatever the reason for the strange properties of this place, there have been some interesting things happening also more recently. Because in the 20th century alone, there have been three large meteorites that impacted in this area. But what's even more interesting is that in 1970, the US Air Force, they launched a rocket from Utah, which was supposed to study the upper atmosphere or something like that. And it was supposed to land again in New Mexico. But somehow, it ended up straight here in the heart of the zone of silence. And the area here attracted quite some attention at the time. And there was a huge team of Americans that all came to this area and they cleaned up everything. So I believe it was a seven ton rocket. There was an impact crater, there was debris all over the place and they cleaned up everything. So there is no more evidence right now that that even happened. But it happened. So, strange place. Um, interesting place. I'm having a really great ride, but um, yeah, I really have to take care that I um, get out of here before it's getting crazy, crazy hot. So I am going to continue. It's like 80 kilometers still, I think, through the other side of the desert. So let's go. Absolutely not a single soul here to be found.
should be on this one. Another fence. Oh, it's like a booby trap. to get this back. How on earth did they put this? Oh yeah, it was with this one. And then, I can't remember. that silt is crazy <laughs> crazy So that to rabbits or hares. <sighs> oh, it's hard work. <laughs> it's hard work. I suddenly hit this deep sand, and off I went. <sighs> There's a train passing through here. Well, I don't know if it's still active. It looks like there's a train going here somewhere. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> I am back at the highway. Well, somehow I have to get back to the highway. And I've just decided to keep on riding for a little bit more I was planning to uh, there's a ranch somewhere here I was planning to stay the night there but I still feel uh, pretty fresh so I'm going to continue because um, my next ride was going to be very very long and if I now continue riding then uh, the next ride is going to be a bit more pleasant I have to pay some toll and I'm entering Chihuahua. Not the animal, but the states. I have arrived in Parol. It is time to call it a day. Impressive church. This is the center of Paral, by the looks of it. Hotel, hotel. And welcome to my little room here. Now, before I go back outside again and go and clean my airbox i'll quickly show you on the map where i ended up today because this was not the plan when i left this morning and instead of 250 kilometers i did 390 <laughs> 
including all my shenanigans in the desert. So I'm pretty impressed. Um, but uh, I'm just happy that I kept going because I had to cover this stretch anyway. And now the next ride will also be like 360 or something, something like that. So now it's more split into two equal rides. So I think that's going to be just a bit better. Anyway, I left this morning from uh, Mapimi over here. And then I went here. Then I rode all the way here to the zone of silence. And then I went this way out again. Something like that. That was, uh, what is it then? 120 kilometers of desert. And then I kept going. And now I'm here in Hidalgo del Parel. So I'm going to end this video now. Uh, it was a long day for me, but I really enjoyed it. And it was just awesome to ride around this mysterious place in the desert. I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's just beautiful. I like deserts. I love deserts even. So I really enjoyed myself. Um, so yeah, I hope you liked this video too. If you did, please give a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.